as the third estate demanded for voting rights the king rejected the demands louis 16 rejected the demands of voting rights third estate representatives walked out of assembly they saw themselves as spokesmen of the whole french nation on 20th june 1789 all the members of the third estate gathered in the indoor tennis court of versailles and declared themselves a national assembly and drafted the constitution of france to limit the power of monarch till this time period in french society there was absolute monarchy the king never consulted its estate assembly the national assembly was led by mirabeau a nobility and abbesses a clergy they inspired people from their writing and speeches getting the support from clergy and nobility the people were highly inspired immediate cause of the revolution one by one certain circumstances held in france society so that it led to the revolution severe winter caused bad harvest in france the prices of the bread increased brick bakers exploited situation and stopped supplies hoarded the grains women had to stand for the long hours on the queue at the bakery to fetch a loaf of bread at the same time the king ordered troop to move into paris the angry crowd destroy the fort of bastille and release the prisoners in the countryside rumors spread that lords of manor sending the brigands of their people to destroy crops in villages recognition of national assembly louis 16 could not face the revolting people and accepted that his power would be checked by a constitution this converted france from absolute monarchy to constitutional monarchy constitutional monarchy in france in 1791 the national assembly drafted the constitution to limit the power of the monarch for that all the members of the estate were called to convert the constitutional monarchy the power was given to three different institution which was earlier handed to a person that was the monarch these three institutions were legislature executive and judiciary the constitution of 1791 gave the power to make laws in the national assembly during this phase the french society was divided into two groups they were active citizen and passive citizens active citizens were only men above 25 years and paid taxes equal to at least 3 days labor wages they only had got the voting rights passive citizens all the people all the people those who were poor and all women did not get the voting rights and called passive citizens the new constitution of france began with a declaration of rights of man and citizen